Hey, hey, hey everybody, Pit Mick here from the Coinops Discord server and thought I'd make a video on showing users how they can add their own um, games from their Exodos collection to Next 2 for themselves. Um, it's not that hard, just time consuming really, uh, in terms of it doing each game. Because each game will need a video, each game will need a logo and optionally you would all potentially also want a cover and uh, it's not as hard as it seems it's just a bit of time so i'm not i'm just going to go straight in jump straight into the video and i made a load of batch files for the 7200 games within exodus version 5 um one set that didn't use a mouse one set that did use a mouse i don't know which games out of all those will use a mouse and which ones don't do do and don't so i made a set of all, of both now there is a game that I'm going to add on to my CoinOps Next 2 build that is not in uh, my pack and it uses a mouse and that is um, the, uh, Mech Warrior 2. So I've made a bat file for it. As I said, I made a, I made th I made thousands of them and they're all specific to uh, that particular game. Um, so if I edit this from here, you can see it's using it uses the mouse so it gets rid of joy to key to start with then it boots its own version of joy to key because i don't want it to interfere with next two's version and uh, and then it obviously looking for the game in this particular folder and then it will run that particular thing and then it searches for um dosbox.exe process until such time it's quit and then it brings back the joy to key that uh, next two uses back into the four so it's usable in the next game or system you decide to play so you don't lose it so i made these batch files 7200 odd of them and don't worry i didn't type them all out i used uh, uh excel to do it for me right so because i love excel so uh i'm going to copy that in to collections dos exodos mouse official bat files mouse i'm just going to paste it in there i don't need to edit it it's it will run fine because it's relative to where it is as long as it matches the folder pro folders where it is so if i go to exodus uh mouse official now i need two game folders first one i go into exo in uh my exodus build and then i go into uh exodus and mech warrior 2 is mech w2 how do i know that well if i go into bat, bat files mouse and go mech w2 mech warrior 2 and edit it it tells me there tells me the folder that i need to copy for the game itself okay so it's the uh, post, uh, exclamation mark dos folder and then mech w2 first of all so i have to go in here uh sorry exo exodos and i have to put this folder it's in this so if you look i've got the exclamation mark dos exclamation mark dos i need to find mech warrior 2 there it is copy that into the root of this folder and it will take a little bit of time unfortunately because it's 1.7 gigabyte it's quite big and i'll let that do that while it's doing it so it's taking that long it shouldn't take that long that's tremendously slow i don't even know what it's doing right anyway I'll carry on while it's doing that uh oh i think i know why because the game's already in it that's why pause it stop uh should i stop it yeah i will stop it i know why it's because it's already i already put it in to save time yeah there it is so it's 1.76 gigabyte i think if i hover over it yep so it's quite a big folder uh so i saved some time it's already there so you copy that one in the exo exodos folder and in the game folder for the specific game you want to put in your collection in dot in next two um and then you go to the root of it again and you go to the dos uh, exclamation mark dos and you look for mech w2 there it is and you copy that into exodos exclamation mark dos so there it is exodos exclamation mark dos and i'm just going to paste that one in there and again to save time i'd already put it in but i'm going to replace it anyway right so i'm just going to go into this one because i need to edit some two bat files now uh i don't think i need to edit this one but i'm just going to check it no i don't this just get this one just checks if the game's installed and if it isn't installed it runs this so that's fine uh the comp file doesn't have anything in it that tells me how to load the game it's just going to call the bat file called run 
which is in mech w2 game folder so i have to go to that now and i'll have to edit that so if i go to exodus mech w2 there we go go in here and you'll see there's a run dot bat so i have to edit this now i have to be careful here because there might be another foot another menu after this so when you boot the game it comes up with um so i'll get rid of that for now uh, it comes up with this menu in the game on the screen and you have to press a key to choose the version of the game you want to play now i already know i want to play the first one number one and that will then take me to mw2 it will load the game but it will call this bat file which is in this folder here so i'm gonna to have to find this folder. i'm gonna to have to go to this folder in a minute and check that run bat dot bat file but first of all i can simply bypass all that and go straight to this mw2 and run this little segment of code okay so where it says cls at the top after echo off press return press go to mw2 it means i don't see any of this and it goes straight to here and it runs all of this however it's going to run another bat file you have to be careful because it, it will sometimes it will say call the run so it's not running this one this is what i'm editing so i have to press save to save it that's now been saved to today's date and time and it's going to run another bat file inside this folder here so it's going to it's going to run that fat bat file so i can quit this and then go into this bat folder and i look for run.bat in fact there it is so i'm going to edit this i'm going to see what it comes with see this is where you get another choice i've already edited it but i'm just going to explain what i did so this time then when you when it runs it'll come up with this option in the in the screen now for those of you who want to use it in next two and just want to boot the version of the game you want to play with the sound option you know you prefer you can choose the right one for you and this goes for all of the exodus games many of them not all but many of them have options with keyboard numbers that you choose for the version of the game and the sound option you want to use with the game etc so i just want to use it with um sound canvas i'll just choose number three so i'd and that number three takes you to sc55 sc55 runs the game and then it quits the bat files that's good right so i'm just going to put go to sc55 it means i won't see that menu it won't even ask me it'll just boot the game with sound canvas and that's it and then it'll quit that bat file so now i'm going to save that now just to be on the safe side i'm going to run uh the game from that fall i'm going to run this now no I'm not i'm going to run from my own bat file and check that it actually runs direct to the game so mech there it is so let me boot this it should come up i hope it should just boot the game directly don't worry about that because it's, it's not in next two that's why it's come up as that it should just boot to the game oh absolute mint get in there we go so i'll just press escape to come out of that and i'm just going to press escape because i want to flee to dos there we go yeah i just want to go back to dos right um so that will show up in next two as the bat file but it won't be a logo there won't be a logo in it or anything um it'll just be the text name of the game so next i need a logo i know i now know the game is going to work from within because it's this that bat file is within next two so i know that's going to work um because it's been based in my mouse pack already then i need a logo so in order to put the logo uh sorry i need i need to go into the uh media artwork and i need a logo now there's obviously lots of logos in here but there isn't one for mech warrior 2 so let's go and get one so where i would go for logos is the launchbox games database i will come on to that in a minute we'll show there so you type it in mech warrior 2 you find the one you want i usually go for the version of the game that i want the system for so if it's a dos version i'll go for the dos selection and when you get this screen up you then click on images and it will come up with this screen here now this is quite ideal because not only have you got a logo you've actually got a 1080p image here that you could use part of as a cover but i'll come to that in a minute so i'm going to uh choose well this is the logo i remember as as a, as a younger man so i'm going to use this so i'm going to right click on it i'm going to open the image in new tab and then go on the tab right click on it save image as and then i go to uh, my logo folder within my next two build 
and I name it the same as the bat file, which I already know is Mech Warrior 2. And that's that. So I can just save that and that will now be saved. The other thing I could do, and I'll just get rid of that now, that's the logo found, is I could find a cover. I've got a perfect opportunity to use the cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that, open image in new tab. It will open up as, uh, no, that's not quite what I wanted as far as I know. That wasn't quite what I was after. If I click on it, there we go. So now I'll right click on it and save the link as, uh, so not save right, it should say, oh, it's a link. Oh no, I want the image. Right. Let me just get this on here. Right. Oh, save. Li ah, I'm going to click save link as. So it should let me. Yeah, it's a JPEG. So now I go to cover. That's okay. I don't mind JPEGs. Not not as good as the P PNGs, but and again, you name it the same as the game as the uh, bat file, and then save that. Now I'm going to start next turn. I want you to see something that's important. When you're choosing full 1080p wide, uh, 1920 wide covers, they do not look right in next to you. Have to edit them, but I'll bring it up now. I'll bring it up in a minute. In fact, I'll just get this back to. Uh, I'll go into next two actually, and I'll show you what it looks like. Just start my joypad, switch it on. So I'll show you what it looks like. So you, you can, I think you can begin to understand how long it took to make the pack of uh 240 games because you have to do this for every game and that's just for the mouse games the joypad games take a bit longer even than that because you've got to map the keys to the joypad etc anyway so mouse games and i'm going to scroll all the way down to m because that's where mech warrior 2 will be of course and uh by the way the new build of um coin ops retro and arcade are much faster in the menus than this so although this is not too bad from my point of view um it's going to be the next build is going to be even faster and i'll do a video on that shortly so you can see there that the cover which is the picture of the mech uh in the background you can tell it that's been squashed that's been condensed and squashed into a smaller space because the dimensions should be 11 20 pixels wide by 10 80 pixels in height but that's been downloaded as 1920 1920 pixels wide so it's still it's by but it squashes it into that resolution space so we need to edit that because that just looks horrible to me so uh, i'm going to come out of it obviously there's no video yet and i'll show you how to do that in a minute so what i do is um i go to uh, collections DOS, Exodos mouse, medium artwork, cover, and I'm going to edit it. Now I use a program called um, GIMP, Graphical Image Manipulation Program, I think it stands for. Uh, oh, I was right. Oh, GNU. Um, so um, it's free program, costs nothing. It's a, it's kind of like a free version of something similar to Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop. And what you would do with this case to make it smaller is you go to image canvas size because the height is perfect the height 1080 is fine don't need to do it i just want to make it less wide so you just go canvas this time and you go 1120 and i don't press center because i don't want it in the center but you can see that's the image that it will show i don't want that i want to get the mech in so there we go i'll just do that then you click resize fill with transparency doesn't matter and i'll live with that that's okay i don't mind that uh, and it will show it in the right dimensions. So now I go file and I overwrite it, Mech Warrior 2. I'm going to make sure the quality is 100% because I want it to look its best. Export it. And that's that. So I'm going to turn that off. I don't need that now. Discard the changes. And there you go. It's been sized. And if I hover over it, you can see it's 10, 1120 by 1080 dimensions. Perfect. Uh, I should have taken the title out, but it doesn't matter. I don't like leaving that in. So there we go. So that's fine. So if I now go to next two and just show you the difference, then you'll understand why I did that for any covers that I make, because I want them to look the best, uh, not just to fill a space. I want them to look good. There's no point in having it in my view if it's no good or doesn't look the right way. So uh, let's go to M as quick as we can. 
Right, so there's MechWarrior 2. And see, that is to me is much better. I don't care about the name of the game at the top because I've got the, the logo. It doesn't matter. But that looks much, much better. That's much more in proportion. That's how it should be. All right, now obviously I need a video now. So let's come out of this. Now I need a video. And what I would use is uh, I would go onto YouTube. I would find a, a non-commentary gameplay video for the game you're trying to find. And there's a number of ways you can get the videos. I found this one. And I found this one, which is actually for uh, 640 by 480, I think. Or is it 480? Yeah. Yeah, it's 640 by 480. So that would be fine. But what I'm going to do is it says HD on this one. And it's 1080. So I think I'd rather have this one. Because if it's scaled down to fit the size of the video display in uh, CoinOps, it will look a little bit sharper. So what I do is I get the logo. I get the... Uh, link for that and it's because i use a program called vidly you could use that i it's free um and i will put that in there and it's already got the link for me and it says, it says download in 1080 you can choose the resolution that you want it will only go up to 1080 if you want to go beyond that you have to pay for it uh if the video is available for in that resolution of course and i'm going to choose that and you know what i need to i'm going to change it so that i need to go to preferences and i want to go i want to know where the videos oh exodus mouse videos i don't know if there's even a folder with that there anymore i might have got rid of it anyway i'll keep it there all right let's download it it's not very long and it's well, it's too long actually it needs to be shortened but i can do that uh within uh, windows quite quickly so it doesn't take too long to get the video. And once that's downloaded, I will uh, edit it quickly, hopefully, to show the gameplay. But having said that, it's 1920 by 1080p, so actually it does need to be edited with something else. So that's downloading. This is the only thing that's really missing now, the video. Uh, and then it's uh, time to basically get get on with the game so the video should hopefully not take too long i don't know why it's so slow but it is and well, that's just the way it is that's fine um it's not a very long video so it should be okay uh, is it finished not quite i don't even know if it's done yet oh yes it has it's, it's got a little green tick so it's done right so that's finished so if i go to uh, open file location there should be a lot of videos in here yeah i've got a lot of videos for dos games in here and it should find it for me where are you mech warrior 2 oh there we go mech warrior 2 right so in fact what i'll do is i'll just change mech warrior 2 there we go so i'll just cut that out of there as you can see, I've um, been helping get other videos ready. Right, now I need to go to next two. Collections, DOS, Exodos Mouse, Media Mart Work, Video. Paste that video into there, which I think it just has somewhere. There it is, Mac Warrior 2. But I need to edit it. So I need to uh, open it with OpenShot Editor, which is what I use. Uh, oh no, I'm going to use well. Overshot Video Editor is bet is free, Animotica is free, but for the purposes of this video, actually this would be better because it's 19820 by 1080. This will do it for me really quickly. So uh, I just have to do a couple of things with it, uh, and it's done. Right, so if I just press play, it should come up. There we go. So it's on there, right? So I might shorten it in a minute. Well, let me just, you can see it's got black bars on the side i don't want them in because they'll show on the next two and i don't want them in might as well just use the full four to three ratio so the good thing about animotica is you can click this and click four three and it'll get rid of them watch bang done four three and because it's so long and i only want to show gameplay uh i'm gonna go back to i'm gonna edit it now click on the pencil uh, I'm just going to click here. I want to see the gameplay. Let's have a look. Let's see whether there's some gameplay. 
Yeah, that looks all right. I'll get that on there. Right, we'll trim that. So we need to trim from the start. So that should be the beginning of the video. And then we go about 30 seconds in. Oh, it's a bit long, about 30 to 40 seconds. No, I'll just get that in so it hits that. Hit shot it. Yeah, that'll do. Right, so we'll trim that from the end. And there you go, you've got a 42 second video. Uh, I now need to go back and I need to save it. Uh, I'm going to save it as 1080 because that's what it was. I'm going to reduce it down. It doesn't need to be that, that high. Uh, it's quite a big video for a game, but I'm not bothered. I'm just going to turn it down to 3 megabits. Mm, we'll see. We'll see how it looks. It might look okay. 30 frames. Yeah, that'll do. 3 megabits. That's quite well. I might do 4.5. You know what, I'll do it as that, because it'll look alright in a small resolution anyway. It's 640 by... It's 1440 by 1080. Right. Okay, well, we'll see how it looks. It's only for the purposes of this video. So, we'll click save. It will then save it into my Animotica video, which I'll, uh, video folder that I'll have to go and get it from. I'm not set up that up to default. Save that. Um, yeah, sorry, it's uh, having a bit of trouble on my PC doing everything, so just bear with me. It's nearly done now. Please don't switch off. <laughs> my computer switches off when it gets too hot. Oh, yeah. please, 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 please do it. There we go. Right, that's fine. Seems to have done it. Right, showing the folder. I want to get it out of there. Uh... X that out of there. Come out of there. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Dee -dee 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 video. Is that it? Oh, that's it. Uh, right, paste it into the uh, there, and I obviously want to change that to Mech Warrior Two. There we go. Oh, uh, yes, I do. Oh, there's already one in it. That's why. Right. I've already got two in there. I didn't realise I had two in there. Where was it? Met Warrior 2. Oh, it's because it's the one I downloaded. Right, I can get rid of that one. Right, I just need to make sure that's not got number two in brackets next to it. And I don't know, Pit Mick, what's going on. Right, so that is everything. That should now, that's all I need. Done it all. So if I go into next two now, let's boot it up. Come on. Come on. San Miguel, beer, love it. Right, here we go. Mouse games, Mech Warrior 2, let's see. Hopefully the video will look all right too. It did only re-encode it at low quality, so I'm not sure. It might look okay, it might not. Uh, where are you? Oh, Mech Warrior 2. Oh, you know what? That looks all right, that. I'm happy with that. Looks okay. Yes. That, that I'd be quite happy with that. I mean, I, I, if I, you know, I'd probably make a bit of bit of quality video. Um, obviously, my computer's had a bit of trouble re-encoding it. There. That's why it's stalling. That's why my computer's... I'd have to re-encode that with then I'm not recording this um, this video for you. But yeah, that it, when you did it on your own without recording a video for YouTube, you'd be fine. I've just recorded a video at the same time as trying to re-encode this. That's why it stutters. It's not, it's not the video itself. So, that's it, guys. And then if I press A... It should boot the game directly. Which it did earlier. So there we go. And because I've already got my mouse set up on my joypad, I can use the joypad there. Mint. Mint. And then if I press A button on my joypad, it starts the game. I'm just going to start that. Now, if you were, could be so inclined you could map uh, the joypad to the mouse uh, or to, you sorry you could joy, jo map the joypad to uh, keyboard buttons with control and f1 which is what i've shown you there so you could do uh you could use a keyboard key click it you press a, key, a joypad button that you want to map it to so if i click on a and then you click add 
and that means add a add a, a joypad button or a movement on your joypad to that particular key on the keyboard it will basically be like pressing a on the keyboard if that's a key in the game and then you must click save when you've done it and then you when you've finished doing all your control mapping you click exit it goes back to the game now if i press uh back and start i don't know if it actually quits yes it does actually i met i set it up that way so back and start on my joypad gets me back to next two already i didn't know how to map that because i've already remapped i've mapped all that already so there we go guys there you go that's how you add your own mouse game from exodos into coinops next two i hope that's been useful please give me a thumbs up if you like what you've learned Make sure you're checking those bat files where they run to, where they link to another bat file. Sometimes they only need one, sometimes they link to a second one, which this one did. So you have to check that really carefully and then edit the option that you want to boot straight to rather than to press the keyboard key to map to. But if you're happy to press the keyboard keys to get to those options and use those options as is, then you don't even have to do all that. I've just shown you uh, the way I do it. Uh, and there you go. So and that's how you add a video, you add a logo, you can add a cover like I've shown you. You can add any uh, Exodos game you want now to Next2 if you want to. So that means I don't have to make any more packs. It means you can add your own stuff. All right, guys, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you like the video. It helps the uh, the channel. Make sure you subscribe, please. Um, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Click the notification bell so you know when new content comes out. I'm going to be doing a video very soon on the new uh, Coinuts bills that BP's been working on. Um, they're absolutely awesome. Uh, absolutely awesome indeed. So, I'll leave that with you, and uh, take care, everybody, and speak to you, and see you on the next video. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.